I'm Todd with PCC, and today we're here to talk about a new line that we've picked up uh, called PR Electronics. Uh, I'm here with Rolla from PR Electronics, and Rolla's going to give us a little bit of background on, on the company to start out with, I guess. So tell me a little bit about PR Electronics. Hi, right, Todd. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, my name is Rolla. I'm the channel sales manager for the Midwest Territory for PR Electronics. Uh, PR started about 50 years ago in uh, Denmark. And just like uh, any other company, it started uh, quite small. It started, it started in a garage uh, by the owner. And uh, after that, it flourished. Um, so now PR has about 200 people uh, employed at the headquarters. Uh, we do everything from uh, a bare board to, final, uh, to the final product, as you see here. Uh, all testing and calibration is done at the factory. So uh, we really have the biggest reliability that you can ask for because we do everything in-house. Okay, and so what are some of the products that you guys actually have? Right, so we are, uh, so what PR focuses, and, and that's, that's uh, probably one of the strength, uh, strong points that PR has uh, comparing to the competition, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's the fact that it, uh, PR focuses on only one niche, and that's signal conditioning. Uh, so most of our products are well capable of taking uh, multiple signals at the same time and provide you with a uh, 4 to 20 or a 0 to 10 volt isolated output, which generally gets used in the industry. Okay, okay. so you have like products that take 10 different types of signals as an example and make sure. and give you one kind of an output one, signal. One kind of output, right. so Instead of having 10 different part numbers for, for doing that signal. And that's, that, that again, that's one of our biggest advantages over the competition. It's in fact that we've got uh, a universal power supply, such as if you look at the units uh, like the 4116, uh, that's one of our flagship products. It has, uh, you can power this through AC or DC and you can bring multiple uh, signals in, and you can have a 4 to 20 or a 0 to 10 volt output, which is common in the industry. Okay, so some of the uh, some of the product lines that we've got here, you've got this guy that we just talked about. Can tell me a little bit yeah, about sure. the other and, 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 the, and the other, uh, the other uh, products that you see here, uh, I, I can point to the first product here, it's our Hetman temperature transmitters. Uh, these are uh, used primarily in the industry to measure temperature. Temperature is a big part uh, for PR. Uh, PR plays a major role in this. Uh, uh, in temperature, in fact, we're one of the top third manufacturers in the world when it comes to temperature. Uh, we have patent technology on some of these because uh, of, uh, comparing to our competition, we've got really fast output. We've got five-year warranty on all these units. Um, uh, so uh, this, these, these generally typically go in a head mount mm -hmm. uh, as sensor manufacturers use them. And uh, you'll have a temperature coming into here, a probe coming into here, and you get a 4 to 20 milliamp output okay. uh, on these ones. And those actually are available also in this housing too, correct? Absolutely. So, uh, so basically, uh, the, this is a uh, hockey puck, or what we call a in-head version, and then you have the in-rail version as well. So okay. this point, pointed right. out. Uh, then we can get into our um, uh, uh, products that get used in the intrinsically safe area. Uh, so these are these are what we call uh, uh, our, our uh, barriers or our intrinsically safe transmitters. Uh, again, you can have multiple inputs coming into, uh, into these units and you can have a standard 4 to 20 or 0 to 10 volts out. Uh, comparing to some of our comp uh, competition which will have uh, multiple numbers of uh, these devices just to achieve what you're achieving in one unit. Okay, and so something like this because it's in, for intrinsically safe environments has a lot of different approvals or ratings, correct? Absolutely, and this is what, this is what PR is known for. We've, we've been approved uh, uh, through and through with, with all the European standards. We've met all the American standards uh, uh, and the Canadian standards. Good. Okay. okay. And some of the latest technologies that we brought on, again, as you can see, these, these, these units are well capable of, uh, uh, of displaying as well. They're not just a signal conditional, so we've got the attachable displays can, that can clip on these units. Uh, on top of getting, having the display, you can have a, a Modbus output on there, or you could uh, possibly have a, a, a unit in, on there that you can talk Bluetooth on there and also do data logging on these units. So they can log data. Absolutely. So, so you set them up with this. You log data with them. Yeah, sure. Just to give you, just to give you how much uh, a small display like that can log. Uh, if we take, uh, if we take, uh, for example, one time a second, if you want to log uh, uh, every second, we can have up to uh, thirty days of constant logging. Thirty. Yes, wow. thirty, and then okay. we'll just override them. Okay. All right. 
And what about some of the what is the other? Yeah, so this is here so this is this is really this we've got a patent on this as well, and this 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 unit here, uh, it's, it's it's an isolator, but it's uh, it's it's known for its cost uh, for space saving. So it's it's, it's six millimeters uh, wide only, and you can stack up these units uh, uh, next to each other with with no room, so no air gap is required. Um, and also, uh, there's two versions of them. There's the loop wide versions we can just loop them in, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, there's a power version that has got a, a, a power uh, a module at the back. So you clip it on the onto a onto a power uh, rail. Uh, you can stack uh, as many as you can, and you can they can uh, feed. Uh, if you feed one of them with power, the, the rest of them gets powered up. So through the back bank. Yeah, through the cool. back bank. Very cool. Yeah, and then you can save on uh, cost on what in your wiring. Okay. All right. So. That's kind of a quick snapshot of PR Electronics. Um, if you want any more information, please come to our website, pccweb.com, or reach out to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Roland. Thank you. Thank you.